We often cover the as yet unexplained features that can be found within the construction of many of the ancient ruins all over the world. These seemingly impossible feats of ancient architecture, seen by all, yet perceived by an academia that would like you to believe they were completed a mere few thousand years ago. Yet any explanation as to how these tasks were indeed undertaken or completed remain absent. We strongly suspect that a vast portion of Earth's and indeed our own human history is being covered up, simply because those who wish to sell you the answers do not have them. It is far more profitable for those in the so-called know to be perceived as indeed all-knowing, rather than to admit the patent fact they simply cannot explain these ancient structures. They do not know who built them, and most important of all, no idea when they were built. Countless museum artifacts also that, according to these same individuals, regardless of the obvious precision contained within, were created by individuals far less capable than we are today. Often absent or attached to illogical explanations as to their manufacture, these artifacts continue to be attributed to civilizations whose most advanced carving technologies were copper and stone chisels. We feel that many of these ancient artifacts, along with many impossible ancient megaliths found perfectly placed within ancient ruins all over the world, are strong evidential factors to suggest that an ancient civilization once had at their disposal highly advanced precision machinery. One of the many interesting, perplexing ancient features are the ancient star holes, which have been discovered at a number of different ancient sites around the planet. Although places like Puma Punku or Giza's basalt plain possess precision drill holes, diving many feet into incredibly hard stone, these star holes are, as the title suggests, mysteriously created in the shape of stars. So far found within Massachusetts in the USA, and also within Volda in Norway, their existence, we feel, are proof of an ancient drilling technology, far superior to our own today, let alone our recent ancestors. How were these holes created, or indeed why? A number of these particular drill holes can be found within Volda, and a number have also been discovered within the surrounding area of Flint County Quarry, Massachusetts, although, interestingly, each slightly different in shape. Are these seemingly impossible drill holes evidence left by a lost civilization? Intriguingly, when the star holes occur, they only cover part of the total length of that particular hole, the remainder of the hole still having the typical round cylindrical shape. However, mysteriously, the length of the rifled grooves and their position within the hole varies considerably with each drill hole, sometimes even occurring midway through a rock. Ancient star holes, an as yet unexplained ancient feature, which we find highly compelling. There is a lot of mystery surrounding the continent of Antarctica. Officially the driest place on Earth, the ecosystems within the South Pole are untouched, and remain the healthiest anywhere, one of the main official reasons for the Antarctic Treaty. A cooperation of many of the world's nations to not pollute the area. The result of this treaty has been a ban of most human beings going there, unless crossing it on set cruise routes. If there are ancient ruins within this mysterious place, they will be buried under kilometers of ice, only the largest of which would even show any evidence of their existence on the surface of the ice which encases them. These ruins may not even be classified as ruins, if they were flooded by a deluge, which in turn froze during pull shifts, they would be the most pristine ancient structures now left on Earth, they may look as if they were abandoned yesterday. There are many strange reports from the region of Antarctica, usually attached to those not lucky enough to survive its elements, many researchers online claim to have found evidence of ruins and even pyramids within the South Pole. So, what I set out to do, was to attempt to find any evidence for a past colonization of Antarctica, and if our cover-up of these articles has ensued, to attempt to find any artifacts that were lucky enough to attain public exposure before their disappearance from the official records. It did not take me long to realize I was already aware of such an artifact. A map made in 1513, 
by Turkish Admiral Pyari Rees, created in accordance with ancient knowledge contained within manuscripts, which would later be lost during the destruction of the Library of Alexandria. Whether these fires which occurred over a duration of eight years, were orchestrated to steal these ancient books, or indeed to destroy them forever is unknown. But from this lost knowledge, the continent of Antarctica would be shown without ice. It was thought at the time that the manuscripts within the library, were only a few centuries old at most, yet the evidence would suggest they were very much older than assumed. Which is a conclusion numerous researchers have made. The map has intrigued countless individuals, and like so many other things we encounter, in regards to ancient knowledge, the most important of relics become lost or destroyed. However, the map is a surviving remnant of this vast mountain of intellectual wealth, it is the smoldering amber of proof needed to confirm such knowledge has existed before, and that the shores of Antarctica were known well, in the very distant past. If the map displays the shorelines of Antarctica before it was covered with ice, and it is displayed more accurately than Brazil, then it is not a large leap of the imagination to suspect that ancient ruins, dating back to the time of this knowledge, do exist on the Antarctic continent. And while we have ancient pyramids, declared as existing on all continents of the planet, apart from Antarctica, you begin to doubt that Antarctica is an exception after all. It could be home to the largest, with the southern tip of the world encircled by the stars, it may hold the most amazing ruins on Earth. And with it being a place that only recently have we been able to explore extensively, you have to wonder what other artifacts may be preserved in the ice, what objects may have crashed in this desolate place, during the last few thousand years, just waiting to be reverse engineered. So how does such a smoking gun, such as the Pyre Rees map, survive for so long? while throughout the centuries all the source material has been engulfed with flames around it. Well, the coastline of Antarctica was not known to be displayed on the map, until we achieved the capability of developing ground-penetrating technologies. It well and truly slipped under the radar. There are many curious things found throughout recent years found within images taken by Google Earth, with some being particularly peculiar. One such find being that of a seemingly frozen ship, measured at 400 feet long, it is as if it were picked up and planted upon this enormous block of frozen ice within Antarctica. Dismissed by some as simply being that of a naturally formed block of ice, yet the resemblance to a cruise liner is unquestionably uncanny. If indeed a ship like the one we have covered previously an old lifeboat found in the 70s within an inescapable lagoon within the interior of Bouvi Island, one of the most inhospitable and remote places on Earth, ravaged almost yearly by storms, with no explanation as to how it arrived there. This ship would undoubtedly raise similar questions. Some conspiracy theorists even putting forward the posit that it is possibly the remnants of a Nazi vehicle, a theory linked to a base long claimed to have been created down here during the Second World War. Whatever the answer, questions regarding this curious find remain. Could this really be a ship literally frozen solid in an almost impossible location? And if so, where did it come from, and how did it get to where it rests now? We find this discovery highly compelling. 